everyone so now we are going to do one more lab about the dscp in this case we are going to configure the dscp server in layer 3 switch so let me take i am taking one layer 3 switch and i am taking one normal that is layer 2 switch and then i am going to take some computer here okay i am taking some computer here and after that we are going to do the configuration in the layer 3 switch how we can configure the DSCP server in layer 3 switch we need to learn now. So this is a layer 3 switch. I can rename whatever name you want to give here like SW1 and this will be like SW2 I will give this one. So now we will do the configuration. So go here inside this switch. This is a layer 3 switch. You can go here and do the configuration. So here first I will write no and then enable config t host name whatever name we decide then here what I will do here I will do the configuration for the DSCP server inside the VLAN okay you have two options you can make this port as a no switch port and assign the IP address and do the DSCP configuration or also you can do the DSCP configuration inside the VLAN 1. So let me do VLAN 1 configuration first. So I will write here IP DSCP pool. Whatever name you want to give, I am giving VLAN 1. Then IP network. Then after that we need to give network. And I will write like 192.168.10.0. Give it space 255.255.0 and then i will write here default router whatever gateway we want we need the gateway as 10.1 and then i will say ip ex, uh, dscp exclude whatever range we don't want to use i can define here like i will say 192.168.10.1 till 192.168.10.10 i don't want to use that one and after that I will go inside the VLAN 1 I will write here IP address 192.168.10.1 okay then give subnet mask 255.255.255.0 okay no share sure. so this way I assign the IP all the ports are in the VLAN 1 and then we can go here and check if we are not getting the IP then we need to do the troubleshooting we need to check but here see directly we are getting the IP 192.168.10.11 you are getting the IP here 255 this is subnet mask and the gateway check for other computer also you are getting here yeah you are getting IP everywhere you are getting the IP so this way you can configure the DSCP server in the VLAN 1 that is in the layer 3 switch if you want to configure you can configure this way also okay this way also you can configure if you want to configure and you can ping example this is a 10.14 you can go here and you can ping here you can say here ping 192.168.10.14 and check reply is coming or not So if you see here reply is coming it is working perfectly. What else you can do here? You can connect some more switch like we done in our previous class if you want. You can connect like this and you can connect you can connect here or you can connect this way also that is up to you. And take some computer and check you are getting the IP here also or not. You will get because this is we are connected we don't have any layer 3 device in between so it will work and this uh, what we can say this umbert color because stp is doing the election they are selecting the bpdu root bridge and the king switch all that one that's why this color is there in real scenario we need to wait for some time but here i can do this fast forward if i do this fast forward then this will become as a green but in real environment you need to wait after that go to this machine go to desktop and click here dscp and see you get the ip here 10.15 you can go here and do here also 
10.15 you get you can see 10.16 here 10.17 okay so it is working perfectly configuration what i done i can take here show run section dscb and this is the configuration what i done here okay and also i assign the ip address to the vlan one i will show you that also I will put this configuration here and I can say I assign the gateway inside the VLAN 1. So interface VLAN 1 IP address 192.168.10.1 give space 255.255.255.0 no shirt. Okay this one we done. If you need this topology all this configuration join our telegram channel. We are sharing this all lab in the telegram channel. Okay. So it is clear, right? This is simple lab because many students are facing this problem for the university projects. So this one you can use. This is simple. Okay. Thank you. Bye.